A dzisiaj w bardzo szybkim poradniku pokażę Wam jak zdobyć ten oto piękny mechaniczny skin do kruka. Na no słowem wstępu zaproszę Was jeszcze do innych moich materiałów, czy to z odblokowania ukrytych ulepszeń w Hugro Wydzieraczu, czy też odnalezieniem nowego mounta z dodatku Świdrak na roku. No a przechodząc już do sedna, nie ma tutaj nic skomplikowanego. Jedyne co musicie to odwiedzić kilka miejscówek, a konkretnie chodzi o te wskazane teraz na mapie. Jest ich sześć, a w tych miejscach znajdziecie krasnoludzkie kowadła, gdzie każde z nich jest związane z jakimś mitycznym wydarzeniem lub bronią, gdzie po ich aktywacji ukaże Wam się pewna retrospekcja związana z Loki. A jeżeli chcielibyście zobaczyć wszystkie te cutscenki, to zapraszam Was na koniec tego materiału, tam je wszystkie zobaczycie. No a teraz pozostało Wam już tylko odwiedzić te lokacje, aktywować kowadło, oglądnąć cutscenki, a wraz z ich zakończeniem do Waszego ekwipunku trafi wspomniany mechaniczny kruk. No i to w sumie tyle w tym poradniku. Jeżeli Ci pomogłem, zostaw łapkę w górę oraz subskrypcję, za którą będę bardzo wdzięczny. A tymczasem ja się zbieram i do zobaczenia w kolejnym materiale. Cześć, cześć, cześć. Finer than the last, and so he set off for Svartalfheim. At Loki's request, Evaldi's sons made for him tresses of the purest gold, which would fix the Sith's scalp and grow as real hair would. Loki had what he needed. But now that he'd seen what the master smiths of Svatsalfheim could do, he wanted more. Impressed with the craft of the dwarven smiths, Loki sent them to fashioning great gifts he could bring to Asgard win back the favor he had lost. Skidbladnir, best of all ships, beloved by the wind, big enough to carry all of Asgard's finest into battle. Small enough to fit into a pocket, this would be Freya's gift. It pleased him well. With such gifts, would Loki find forgiveness? My brother always knew how to win hearts. To him, it was almost as easy as breaking them. Gungnir, a gift from Loki for the Lord of Asgard, forged of sunlight and strong Asgardian metal. The tip of the spear was carved with runes to guide its path. Gungnir never missed its mark. Now Loki had the three gifts he needed to win his redemption in Asgard. Sif's hair, Gunknir, and Skithbladnir. But already in his mind a plan was hatching. Three gifts was not enough. Evaldi's sons had made three mighty gifts for Loki, but my brother wanted more. So he went to their rivals, Sindri and Broca. He bet them they could not fashion three gifts greater still. If he won, he would keep the gifts. If he lost, they would take his head. But Loki had no intention of playing by the rules. He transformed himself into a gadfly and set about biting Broca in the hope of distracting him. But Broca did not flinch, and their work was a wonder. 
A boar of living metal who gave off light in the dark and ran faster than any horse. Gulenbursti. Loki had failed once in his attempts to ruin the work of Sindri and Broca, but he had a mind to try again. Again he bit Broca, and again, over and over until the dwarf could stand it no more. But stand it he did, outlasting the full extent of Loki's mischief. Draupnir, a ring of gold from which eight more rings would fall like rain every ninth night. A font of endless wealth for Asgard's most righteous lord. My Jotun brother would have one last chance to spoil the works of Sindri and Broca. If he failed, it would cost him his head. Sindri had made two gifts that outshone the works of the sons of Ivaldi. Now they meant to make their masterpiece. Mjolnir, Giant's Bane, a hammer that could level mountains, that never missed its mark when thrown, and always returned to the hand of its owner. Third time they set about the forge. It had to be kept at exactly the right temperature for their work to be perfect. And yet again, Loki visited as a fly. So desperate to make Broca fail, he bit the dwarf's eye harder than any fly had ever bitten before. This time he did not fail. The hammer was flawed, the handle a fraction too short. Yet even so, we judged the work of Sindri and Broker superior. Loki lost his bet, and his head was forfeit. Few would have mourned the death of Loki. <laughs> but of course the trickster found a way to go back on his word. A tale for another time, perhaps.